Stephen here from History of Hustle and I'm standing in Poznan, Poland and in this video I'm going to talk about the process of Poznan of 1956, also known as the Poznan Uprising. After World War II the Nazis were expelled and the Soviets installed the Communist People's Republic of Poland. After the death of Stalin in 1953 the regime became a little bit milder. Three years later, 1956, at the end of June, workers of the Joseph Stalin metal industries came into a strike. They demanded better working conditions. The protest mass grew out to 100,000 people. They attacked government buildings and even got hold on weapons because they occupied a police bureau. The army was sent in. At first, the contact between the army and the protest mass were friendly. However, Polish Soviet general Sandinov Poblowski was ordered to suppress the uprising and fire directly. 57 to 100 protesters, some sources even say more, died because of this. Most sadly was a 13-year-old Romek Zoblowski who died with a gunshot to the chest. It became a symbol of this uprising. Nevertheless, this uprising was a milestone within Polish history because now the communist regime became milder and was under less control of the Soviet Union. The days of Stalinism in Poland had come to an end. However, it would take till 1989 for the communist regime to disappear. With a short video, I hope you like it, especially you Polish viewers. I'm really curious what you thought of it. It was very brief, so if you have more details or things you want to share, leave it down below. Thanks for watching and until next time.